Staffing shortages are known issues at law enforcement agencies countrywide. And as WREL's Destiny Patterson explains, the Granville County Sheriff's Office is taking a different approach to solve this problem. More pay and new employees who require a bit more training. That's how county leaders are addressing the staffing shortages that we're seeing here at the Sheriff's Office. What's a bidding war between law enforcement? Granville County Sheriff Robert David Fountain Jr. says he's made it his mission to get more deputies on the streets. In doing so, many of them have little experience. It's a growing pain. A growing pain he says he's willing to work through. He's implemented a field training officer program where investigators are paired with younger staff members. And then utilize them because they're seasoned certified deputies to be in the uh, performance of their duties for them to ride along or shadow. You're going to get some that are qualified, but if you don't pay them for those qualifications, degrees, and experience, you won't get them. And that's where the Granville County administration comes in. Granville County deputies make just under $41,000 a year compared to nearby counties like Orange and Franklin, who are in the mid-40s range. We needed to make some big adjustments uh, to, to continue to be able to compete. County manager Drew Cummings has recommended a roughly $7,000 pay increase in addition to lower health care costs. He says most of the salary increases are targeted to deputies who are early in their careers. We've made the largest adjustments there. Sheriff Fountain says an increase in pay would be a step in the right direction. He also says more tenured deputies have had a chance for promotion within the department. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Granville County. And while county commissioners are still considering the budget, well, Cummings says that he expects the pay raises to be approved.